kidney transplants can last for a variable amount of time. However, I've had some patients whose kidneys have lasted for over 40 years. Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Chandraka. I'm a nephrologist and medical director of the Kidney and Pancreas Transplant Program at a Brigham and Women's Hospital. So generally, you need a kidney transplant when your own kidneys are not enough to support your body's needs. It's an alternative to dialysis and has fewer side effects and a better quality of life. Unfortunately, most people don't realize that they have kidney failure or need a kidney transplant. And that's because when you have failing kidneys, you don't tend to have symptoms. For this reason, it is very important if you have a family history of kidney disease, diabetes, or hypertension, that you get regular checkups with your healthcare provider. So what happens during your kidney transplant surgery? Generally, it takes about 90 minutes to complete the operation and you'll be under anesthesia for that time. What generally surprises most people is that the transplanted kidney is actually placed at the front in the lower part of the abdomen rather than at the back where their own kidneys are. And why is that? That's because the kidney can be placed close to the bladder and a major blood supply. Recovery after surgery depends on the patient's physical health going into the surgery. For example, a young person who has a living donor can recover very quickly after surgery. Most patients are out of the hospital in three to four days to a week and require up to about six weeks before they can go back to full-time work. In order to maintain a healthy kidney, you need to take medications on a daily basis for the rest of your life. Patients often ask me how long will a kidney transplant last? On average, a kidney from a deceased donor will last between 11 to 13 years. The kidney from a living donor will last on average 18 to 19 years. We at Mass General Brigham and at other leading transplant centers are actively pursuing research to extend the life of a kidney transplant. So how can you prepare yourself for transplantation? Well, generally speaking, you really have to keep yourself as healthy as possible. That means exercising regularly, watching your diet, uh, refrain from smoking, and if you're diabetic, making sure that you control your diabetes. It's very important also to make sure that you visit your healthcare provider on a regular basis. So I know that all of this can sound very overwhelming, but generally speaking, we try very hard to transplant every patient who needs a kidney transplant. And the reason for this is that nearly everybody does better with a kidney transplant than they do on dialysis. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Anil Chandraka. For more videos on kidney health, click here. And don't forget to subscribe here.